This presentation looks at developing good financial procedures. It's about developing a system and making sure that everybody knows how it works and how to use it. In this way, you can look after your group's money and protect your organisation. You can make your budget for the whole organisation, including all of your activities, your staffing and your running costs. Or you could make smaller budgets for specific projects. A budget is often produced for the course of the full financial year, but you could make one for a shorter period of time if you wish. For example, if you have a project during the summer holidays, you may wish to make a budget for a couple of months. If you're a bigger organisation who's seeking longer term funding or who has staff, it may be helpful to make up a budget for more than one year, perhaps one two or three years. For smaller organisations, a budget of a single year or less may be enough. If you hope to receive funding from several funders, then it might be a good idea to make a budget for your whole project and then have smaller budgets for each funder within that. Step one. Decide what you're making the budget for and give the budget a name, for example, organisational budget or women's group budget. Decide the time frame that the budget covers, for example, is it for six months or is it for a year? Now write both of these at the top of the budget so that it is clear for you and for anyone else who reads it. Step 2. Working out the costs. Use our budget template to create your own budget. There is a simple budget version for small projects or groups and a more detailed one for bigger organisations or if you're producing a combined budget for all of your work. Write down the name of each item under an appropriate heading, for example, materials, refreshments, childcare, etc. You will also probably use headings like sessional workers, salaries, volunteer expenses, and running costs. Write a brief description of how you worked out the costs. For example, 10 weeks at £25 per week for materials, giving a total budget of £250. It's important to know how you work things out, as funders will often want to know this. So write down the amount for each item and then add all of these up to get your total budget for the activity or project. Remember to use your budgets in the real world. You can use it to update changes in costs to make sure that you have enough money to meet increased expenditure. Or you can use budgets to support funding applications. In doing this, you can have several different budgets for different project funders although it's a good idea to have one annual budget that covers everything. Once you receive funds, you should monitor spend regularly against the budget to make sure that everything is under control.